Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I have just had a delivery and I'm super excited. I think I know what it is, but I wasn't expecting her till tomorrow. So I'm gonna get ready and then, um, yeah, we can have a look and see what has arrived. Okay, everybody. So as I was saying, welcome to my channel. Um, in today's um, video, we are going to be unboxing this mystery figure. I have no idea at the moment what it is. Um, and I'm super, super excited to share it with you guys. So I am going to go ahead and start opening this up now. Um, it is one of two figures, um, but as I mentioned earlier, we will see which one we have got. Um, this has arrived from a company called Gamer Chic. Um, I think it's based in Glasgow in Scotland. Um, it's a company that I've been using for a very, very long time. And like Hobby Ultra, customer service is impeccable. Um, a really, really good service if you are obviously um, into your anime, the bigger collections and things like that. So I would recommend you go check them out. Um, as always, I will pop the um, details for this figure and um, the company that I bought it from all in the description below. So be sure to check that out if you are interested. Um, Oh. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, as you can see, it is really well packaged. Um, don't have any um, issues at all with packaging from Gamer Sheet. They always make sure that the figures are really, really well presented and wrapped before being sent out. Um, and they are also bubble wrapped, which is always really, really handy. I'm just going to move this out of the way. Um, So, this is the Lu Tiani um, figure by Good Smile Company. Um, she is a one in eight scale, and I pre-ordered her a fair while ago, and she literally came this morning. Um, so let's see what we've got here. actually seen what this figure looks like at all yet from any kind of um aside from the prototype pictures I'm completely going in blind so I'm hoping that she's as nice as what the um website has made her out to be because I'm hoping to um display her with my Mathos Miku um which I also haven't opened yet <laughs> so I'm very curious okay so that's all the bubble wrap off Okay, okay, okay. No, she's absolutely stunning. I really like the way that they've done the box for this one. Um, as you can see, um, she is in like a clear box. Um, the illustrations on the back. Um, she's absolutely stunning. Um, I'm not too sure if there is an authenticity sticker on this one. Ah, just from the top here. Um, and obviously she is from the V singer range. Um, so if you're into like Vocaloid and things like that, you might be kind of aware of um, like this kind of series as well. Um, I have to admit, Lou, I find she gets really, really overlooked a lot of the time, especially amongst the other Vocaloids because she isn't quite as well known. I think she is a Chinese virtual singer, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Um, she cost me about £170 from Game of Chic. Um, and they do give you the option of using the PayPal um, buying three, which is what I've done for her. So I got to pay her off in three instalments. Um, she has got um, the seals on the sides of the box here, um, which are just really easy enough to kind of just cut through. And as you can see, it's got the clear um, box at the top here. Oh, that hasn't quite come out yet. Okay, so. Um, she does come with the instructions that is pretty typical of any um, good smile figure. I'm hoping that she'll be easy enough to assemble, but if not, I will go back to those. 
um, and this is her and her blister pack and she is actually multi-tiered um, so as you can see here she's just in this here and then there's a second layer at the bottom which has the backdrop all like so okay guys um, so this figure is probably hands down one of the most elaborate figures when it comes to bases that I have ever owned it's absolutely stunning but the um, con side of that is there's no way I'm going to be able to show you it all together until I do b-roll footage purely because it literally just balances um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the parts part by part so you can have a close-up of what each bit looks like um, it's absolutely stunning um, this is an incredible figure and it is definitely up there in one of the most detailed ones that I currently own um, so I'll show you Lou first I will show you what she looks like with her fan um, and as I say she's incredible the sculpt the um, the hair detailing everything um, and you can obviously take the fan off if you would prefer to do so but honestly I think it just makes the whole figure um, you can see how detailed and the effort that they've gone into um, when sculpting her dress and the sheer stockings that she wears as well um, I will do better footage towards the end so you will be able to see her without my interruption but she's absolutely stunning um, I do think that if you are into like the V-Singer range this is a figure that you have to own and um, there is another Lou figure apparently coming out soon I think it's like her 10th anniversary or something it's some sort of anniversary figure anyway there is a prototype picture that they have shown of the illustration I will 100% buy her but I will put a proper little picture of her up here just so you know what I mean um, but if this is anything to go by with the quality that they're trying to keep with these particular figures they are going to be absolutely knockout so I'm really excited but that's Lou um, the background, um, the base is stunning. So this is actually made of two parts, being the bench and the wall behind her. I have popped them together, but as you can see, they fit together beautifully into like this stained glass window effect. Um, and you can probably see why I think this is gonna fit so well with the Mathos Miku theme. Um, she's also got like rosemary beads or some sort of beading um, just draped over the um, table ledge that she will be um, lent up against but that's that and as you can see it just does clip into two separate parts that being the bench and then obviously this being the backdrop itself um, so I'm just gonna pop this back down for now and as I mentioned earlier there is a lot of like separate pieces that do just kind of slot in when she stood together the first one being this really pretty like bonsai I guess it hasn't got any leaf or anything on it but it is really really well sculpted um, they've gone to so much effort like for this whole figure literally there is not a piece of anything like whether it be the figure itself or the backdrop that has been kind of like disregarded um, I would say as I mentioned earlier this is probably one of my most detailed figures that I own um, it also does come with like a little lantern and the cool thing about this is if you get um, the right like battery, it does glow up. Um, as you can see here, this is the lantern and then there's the battery pack just in the bottom here. And this is the stand that it will stand on eventually. And then the final um, sort of things that it came with is like a tiny little tea set. Um, it comes with like a tiny little kettle. Um, as you can see it's literally just got like the floral print it almost matches with her um, dress like with the blues and things um, and finally the last two pieces is a teeny tiny little teacup um, oh, I don't really want to it's gonna be so tiny like teeny tiny teacup and um, like a small that like vase as you can see here so yeah um, as you can probably guess by what I've kind of said so far um, Good Smile has literally outdone themselves with this particular figure um, it's 
gorgeous. Um, I really hope that they do more in the future in this sort of like style. Um, I cannot wait to put it together and show you guys properly. Um, the, the, literally, they've got the glossy eyes. Um, the gradient in the hair is also really well done. There isn't much that I can complain about with this figure at all. It hasn't got any kind of paint defects or anything. Um, so yeah, I have to admit I'm super, super happy with how these figures turned out and I think Goodsmart has done an incredible job. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, is there any other figures that you think are to this sort of quality? And let me know if there's any others in this style because to be honest, I think I have got a bit of a soft spot for the, um, yeah, just for like the nighttime oriental sort of vibe that these figures have got going on. Um, so let me know, because um, I'll be really, really curious to see what you guys come up with. Um, that all aside, um, I would just like to say a massive thank you to everybody that has subscribed to the channel so far. Um, it's been lovely seeing the channel grow. Um, as always, I love hearing from you guys, so please make sure to drop a um, any thoughts into the comments below. I am active in a, like in the majority of um, social medias, whether that be TikTok, um, myfigurecollection.net, and Instagram. So I'm always happy to hear from you guys on there, especially myfigure.net. Um, so yeah, make sure you um, head over there if you are active. And yeah, that pretty much rounds up today's video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Don't you dare.